We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're diving in and we're checking out, we're playing for the very first time, Tenderfoot Tactics. It is by a whole slew of people and stuff, so uh, bear with me as I, I'm sure I butcher everyone's name. We have Bad Dru. We have Michael Bell, Issa Hutchinson, Taylor Thomas. I'll be confused with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I think that's Ta Thomas Taylor. I don't know. Uh, Zoe Vartanian, Madison Paith, and Icewater Games. It releases on October 21st, 2020. And I have been pretty excited to actually check this out for a while. I did get a chance to do the demo back in the day, and I never got around to it. And I always felt bad, so I was really, really excited to actually have this sent my way. Big shout out and thank you to Badru for hooking me up. And let's begin our adventure for the very first time. I just installed it and launched it, and here we go. All right, well, I'm going that way. It's Pascal. Look, the tower. Perhaps the spirit is within. Ah. Uh, Enter the tower. I don't know what I'm doing at all, by the way. So, what? Why is this flashing? Okay, we got well, apparently a bunch of goblins, level two goblins or goblin twos. I don't. I don't know. We got Willow, Pascal, and Nettle or Netle. I'll say Nettle. Okay. Don't know what any of this means. Uh, so Archer. Okay, 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 okay. Attack. Uh huh, uh huh, and Anastasia. Anesthetize, anesthetize, yeah, anyway, anesthesia stuff. Applies numb for 720 ticks, plus 12 to max health, reduces the effect of unnerved by 2. Costs us 10 trees to do this, I guess. Pascal's got punch people in the face with a stick, it's, it's a sword. He has a grenade, breaks destructible objects, okay. And then good old Netly, Netly over here, Net, Net Tlay, I got nothing. Uh, attack with a slingshot, it looks like, and first aid. Okay. Well, I'm sure this is going to go fine. Overworld movement. Ooh, we have tutorials. Sweet. Hello. Rotate the camera with Q and E, or right click and hold. Uh, move your party with the WASD keys, or by left clicking with the mouse, jump with spacebar, crouch slide with less left shift. Oh boy, you expect a lot out of me. Uh, oh, we, we all move? Oh, sweet. This is sick. Heck yeah. Can we zoom in or out? No, we cannot. Okay, I don't mind holding down the right mouse button. That, that works really well with this. So we kind of get to like move around and explore. Now this is, unless I'm completely wrong and I do not know what I'm looking at when I'm looking at things, uh, this has tactical turn-based combat, if I'm not wrong, and I am very excited to see how this all plays out. What was that? Something made a burp sound. Well, it did indicate that we should be heading toward the tower, so I guess I can do that. Is there a way to choose like which character I'm running with? Let's see. Can we can we swap out the party members? Uh, we could evolve them and groom them. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I have them selected. Okay. What if, what about like one, two, three? Nope. So I have the the sword and board guy selected right now. Little Pascal. All right, we're heading to the tower. Enter the tower. Alright, we're gonna try to enter the tower, folks. Looks really, really cool. I don't think I've seen anything that's quite captured or utilized this art style necessarily before, so... I'm sure there has been some stuff, but I haven't seen it, so... That's strange. Okay, big old map. We are where? Over here? Maps. In towns and some other locations around the archipelago, you will find physical map boards. Viewing them will add them to your map collection, which you can bring up by pressing the map button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Maps mark locations that the map markers might find, sorry, map makers might find useful for way finding or dangerous enough to be worth avoiding. Maps don't have any special magical properties that would show you where that you are on them. Be warned, map makers may not agree on concepts of north. Oh, well, that's super useful. All right, now, now I don't disagree having a magical marker pointing to where we're at. I understand that concept being a little bit vague and weird. But if you find a map at a location, I feel like it should indicate 
you are here at that point of finding it. So, like, if we click click on the map board, it should show us where we're at on the map, I feel. But after that, we click down here, it should no longer show us. So we can be like, all right, well, when we got this map, we were here, clearly. And we've moved due east, maybe, even though there's no indication as to what, which way is east, north, south, or west. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I, I like the vagaries of it all. All right, we're entering the tower. It's empty. Well, that was underwhelming. We should wait. The spirit was here recently. They will return. But isn't it dangerous out here with the fog so near? We'll hole up inside. Uh, hopefully the uh, spirit doesn't take our entrance as a breach of trust. Yeah, I feel like he's definitely going to do that. But in the dark of night, a bang and a crash reverberating through the tower. The door blown clear off its hinges. The three jumped to their feet. Groggy, but still armed and ready for battle. Good stuff. What is going on? What is all this? Oh, this is confusing. I love it. Alright, what, what are we doing? What are you bringing to the table here, guys? Goblins take turns one at a time in an order specified on the turn order display along the right side of the screen. The number of turns until a goblin goes next is also noted above their head. Okay, makes sense. On your turn, you may move once and act once in either order. You may also wait at any time to skip the remainder of your turn. Uh-huh. Uh... Oh, and there we are. Combat deployment. At the start of a battle, you can select your goblins and place them where you would like within a deployment zone. You also adjust their initial turn order by dragging and, dri and dropping within the turn order display on the right. Oh, cool. Their default deployment state is determined by their order in your party menu, which you can also adjust with drag and drop. Oh, cool. Good to know. Alright, so Pascal is first. I feel like I want Pascal to be amongst the last, actually. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Begin. How far can we shoot? Uh, move. Wait. Attack. Okay. Well, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna have to move. Can we? Can we move further? I wanted to see how close. I, I saw the like the, it showed how far out I could attack, and then I realized that I messed up and I didn't move far enough. Oh, I can't undo that. Oh, I'm sad. That's okay. I, I guess I can live with that. All right, we're gonna wait. Uh, that's the direction I want to face. Warriors, surely you did not hide from us. Why would you come? Okay. Why would you come to gain the strength of spirit when the strength of the whole fog could be yours? You hurt me. The dawn of an empire is upon you, and this, tonight, is your chance to become an important individual in the making of the next age. Lay down your weapons. Silence, I know this lie. Such an empire will never bend to the will of its servants. Aspirants to that scale, the power will only find themselves tools to it. Ha! From within you will be servants to you'll be servants tools from without you will be nothing our power is vast far beyond the pitiful little town you hail from we are the only future come let us show you uh-huh so combat movement goblins can move up to force based on the turn difficult terrain such as thick br uh, brush cost all remaining movement to enter these spaces are marked with diagonal shadings while moving all right cool 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 uh, Cliff costs one extra movement to jump up per height difference. You can count the extra move count by the thin horizontal lines along the close edge. Alright, cool. Hello, there we go. Alright. Can I, at I can attack. Attack A! Ha, ah, fog man! You done been fog assassed. I think we're just gonna wait here. Boop! Time and natural systems. 
While moving or acting, various natural systems run their simulations. Water, soil, moisture, plant growth, and fire. You can check the status of these systems within a grid square by looking at the banner at the bottom left. Natural systems run on time steps, progressing slightly every tick. The tick counter below the banner will show how long any action will take. The higher the number of ticks, the further the natural systems will progress while the action is being taken. Moving takes 4 ticks plus 4 per grid space moved. Actions take 24 ticks each. An average turn might take 30 to 40 ticks. That is all very confusing, but I'm sure it'll make sense once we get into this a little bit more. I'm just going to attack you straight up. It's going to pop you right in the nose. We said good day, sir. Down he goes. Very good. Oh, cool. That's how we... Okay. Ow! Don't hit Willow. That was not okay. Willow is very upset after that. I think I can move here and still shoot. Not sure that I want to. First aid seems like an okay thing too, but he's got 80 HP, this guy. So we're gonna have to whittle him down a little bit. I like it. I know it's not exactly it, but that's just in my mind. Boop! Pascal said good day, sir, times two. Oh, we get experience based on what we kind of accomplished during that. Interesting. When an enemy is knocked out, they'll drop a spirit cloud on their grid space. Walking one of your goblins through the spirit cloud, okay, will cause them to gain whatever experience that enemy dropped, pushing you closer to a level up. Spirit clouds will also heal you for a small amount. The experience gained causes a level up. Your goblin will heal to full strength or full health. At the end of the combat, remaining spirit clouds will be automatically pulled. Their total experience split evenly between your surviving goblins. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, that's good to know. So, okay, I understand. Can I Can I still... No? Is Willow not just permanently hurt until we get to another battle or something? Bloodied and thoroughly roused, the goblins blocked up the door as best they could. With what furniture they found nearby and, in quiet, sustained panic... <laughs> They waited for the fog to come again, but it did not. Many hours passed, and finally as the sun took its place in the mid-morning sky, they saw the spirit approaching, and quickly cleared the door and went out to greet them. Okay. Oh my god, that's gigantic. Oh, great spirit, it is I, Pascal, honor guard of Hork. Do you remember me? Oh... I do not remember much, little Pascal. I'm afraid I find myself much diminished. Today, at least. And perhaps yesterday as well. Surely tomorrow. Spirit, we came, or we come to be of service to you, to join with you, in exchange for the gift of your magic, that we may be stronger, and we may be made stronger by your grace. I can read sometimes. I am very weak and can only offer you little just now. It may be some time until I can return you to your homes, but if you would stay with me, I would be grateful for the help. And so they did stay. But their presence seemed only to diminish the spirit further, and the spurts of self that came through were not so clear at all. What did come through turned them always westward. They didn't fully understand why, but they knew that they needed to make a trip. And they felt that they might not return. How do I know what westward is? It's fine. Bird's eye. Use the middle mouse scroll wheel to take to the skies as a bird or return to your goblins at ground level. Okay. As a bird, you'll be able to see markers you can't see from the land, finding and claiming more birds from the wilds, once you fly higher and see farther. That's pretty cool. I say that, yet I have no idea what I'm doing right now. 
Oh, this is very confusing. Is there a way to get... There we go. Okay, so I can only really float around this area and then really just kind of Q and E around to see where I need to go next. So it looks like over to this resting place. I don't know, there's no way to really indicate that, but that's fine. Okay, cool. And then, oh, we got Nyx the Goblin here. Alright, is Willow still hurt? Has zero unspent points. Zero health. Very intrigued by all of this. It's like Willow may have fully healed. I'm gonna try to get Willow. I guess that's fine, we'll try that. We could evolve and we can groom people. Oh my goodness, look at all this. There's different classes. There's Goblin, Knight, Polearm, Spellsword, Battle Mage. And a whole bunch of questionable boys and or girls that are there just for us to ponder. Oh, and then we can change what they look like a little bit. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Nice, nice little uh, additional features there. All right, I feel like we should be on, uh, on our other guy here. I should be on Pascal. And he can't be trained. He has no un... Okay. Alright, so I guess we're leaving? Is there anything to do back here? Oh, wh where we'll regroup if we get separated. Holy. We just, like, slide down mountains, apparently. I don't need to go there. Okay, that's interesting. So if I, if I hold shift, I do slide, okay. I can jump. Pretty cool, guys and gals. I'm intrigued, let's go see what we can get ourselves into. I was just wondering if there was like a, a sprint, but apparently it's just sliding down a mountain. I mean, if you're sliding forward, I mean, it's kind of a sprint almost, you know? Go, 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 go. The others are following me, right? Why do I feel like the others are not following me? Oh no. Guys, what are you what are you doing? Hey! Hey guys, what what what's what hello? Why are you not coming with me? Yoo-hoo! Guys? Huh. No, I don't want to see the goblin free. I want them to all follow me. I am so confused. Hello? Guys, we, we should be friends. All right, well, you know what? That's fine. I'm sure they'll catch up later, maybe. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. Why are they not following? I'm so confused. Well, either way, we're going to make our journey over to that other place. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, like I said, they take a somewhat minimalist approach at, like, fully explaining everything, but, like, there's still tutorials and tooltips and things that pop up that explain some of the more important things, so I'm okay with that. I like to do a little bit of a exploratory stuff to kind of figure things out. It's not so bad. Oh, there's a Spookums boy over here. About to go and, and, and engage with... Oh god, oh god. Okay, we are all here. That's what I was hoping. This is a tiny little map. All 
Alright, I'm gonna put you here. Put you there. I guess we're fine. Sure, why not? Uh, move the camera around the map with WAS and holding the middle mouse button, press the zoom wheel. You can rotate in by right click or zoom in and out with your. Okay. Got it. I guess we're ready to begin. Like, I'm ready just to wait here. Oh, they really don't like Willow. My goodness. All right, Willow, can you back away? And then can you actually, like, attack A? Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. All right, I want you to move over here. And then I would like you to go ahead and first aid her. That sound effect is real loud, but I, I don't mind it. How can you shoot that far away? I can't shoot that far away. It's starting to look bad. I'm just saying. Alright. Can we move on? Who is it? Is it it's Nick's turn? Okay. Let's move you here. Can I attack you in the face? Yeah, I can. What? Face attack. All right, buddy. Let's move. What is this, a grenade? I'm okay with that. Big old hit right there. Okay, she can attack pretty far out here. 32. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, I think she's going to go down. So keep her alive with a... Uh, oh, well, okay, that's impressive. Alright, I'm going to move our, our buddy Nettle over here. Get that 92 points of experience. And they are focused on, oh, up on you now. Oh boy. Oh, looks like we get to attack. Oh wait, it's, it's Nyx's turn to attack. Oh no. We can't move far enough. I think, uh, I think we're gonna lose Pascal there. Yep, here it comes. Pascal's down. Is is he dead dead though? Like man, that's that's intense if that's like how quickly somebody can go down. Like I don't like that at all. That sucked. I'll try to move here. Well that that sucked too. Come on, man. Wait, how is it I can't shoot anyone? I'm not even sure what I just did there. Bye-bye. Uh, Down he goes. Um, facing an unnerve. Let's see here. At the end of the goblin's turn, you'll decide what direction they face. Keep their backs and sides protected. When the goblins hit from the side or back, they'll become unnerved, knocking them backwards in the turn order. Controlling the turn. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I suppose that would have been information I should have already learned beforehand, but it's okay. are so mean all right let's move you up wait it's her let's 
move her down. A little bit of healing there. Just gonna go ahead and get that shot on the backside. Boop. Okay. Gonna move here. Going to attack. Down you go. Okay, it's your turn now. Just go ahead and just launch that on you. Unnerved, knocked you down the uh, timeline. I like it. And then I say that we put you down. Oh no, I, I don't want to talk about how I just misclicked. I don't want to talk about it at all. I, I should have probably have uh, changed s stances slightly or position a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. I'd say it happens to the best of us, but I'm pretty sure that's not accurate. All right. Rough round stone times three. Uncommonly round, but otherwise unremarkable. Might be some hoarder would find value in it. Loot and leave. Oh, it looks like Pascal's still here with us. That's good. Did he get hurt? Does he have like any permanent injuries? No. So as long as we win the fight, it's all good. Except he gained no experience that time. Which I guess is okay. I'm okay with that. That's good. I like that. I like that, actually. It gives me a little bit of uh, leeway when I do dumb things. Hey, my whole team's moving again. Uh, I think I'm going the right direction. Oh, we got another spooky boy. All right, we got one more battle in us, and then we're donezo. All right, looking at this, we got, looks like an archer. Guy with a sickle. Another guy with a, a hatchet, maybe? And a dude with a stick. All right. So what I would like is to get Willow up here. You here, get you maybe, you know what? Let's put you there, let's put you here. Put you there, let's put you over here. Now let's see where this lets us begin. I am gonna move up and attack. I'm gonna be bold right away. I'm gonna start strong, I'm gonna start bold, and I'm gonna attack immediately out of the gate. We hit him in the side, which knocked him back. Is it Willow's turn? It is not. Oh, it is. Sorry, I was wrong. Or I was right originally. As well as turn. All right, we turned them to bones. Yeah. All right, you're gonna roll out on our our good doctor. The good doctor. Oh, we got a little bit of time before bad juju happens to us. All right, nettle. Go ahead and heal yourself. And just wait it out. Alright, it's Nyx's turn. Neek, sneak, sneak. Uh, I think I'm just gonna smack you on the side here. You have become unnerved, fool. And I'm just gonna wait. I suppose I can move here. And attack. Oh, oh, hold on. What is it that this does? Oh, that's the grenade. I wonder if the grenade also does damage. I would assume maybe. Like, you think it's possible, right? Can we attack that far? We cannot. However, we can move up one step, get that experience, because you know we want it on Willow anyway. Get some damage out there. Very nice. Alright, bring it on. We're ready. Ow, my face. It's fine. Alright. Net nettle. Um yeah, we'll keep going with the first aid. I'm cool with that. Wait it out there. It's gonna be Nix's turn now. Flop around behind, and go for that sweet, sweet attack. 
big old chunk of damage coming at you. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move. We'll move right here. Oh, move right there and attack. There it is, another one down. So Willow's time to, to shine here. Some more sweet, 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 sweet damage coming out. Land it in. What do you got? Is that the best you've got? Come on now. This ain't even our whole night. Alright, we're going to be able to move all the way over to here. Of course, going to go and launch our little pebble at him. Yeah, he's going to be super sad that that happened. I am going to move here. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm just gonna attack straight up because I, I kind of want the experience to be split amongst what's left. All right, we got uh, two different things here. We got a juniper, rough, thick, sharp. Juniper is all over the archipelago. Its ashes can be used as a binding mordant in the dying process. Okay, and another rough round stone, plus two to increase damage and healing and increases max health. Interesting. All right, let's go see what's flashing down here. Uh, Willow leveled up. So Willow has attack and anesthesia or anesthetize, something along those lines. Applies numb for 720 ticks. It's 12 to max health, reduces the effect of unnerve. We can also get Opportunist. When an enemy moves out of an adjacent tile, this unit gets a free attack. I'd rather put that on a melee combatant. Strangle. Double damage from behind. That's hilarious. Song. What does that do? That's That that doesn't help me. Is that a heal? It looks like it might be a heal. First aid is plus 57. So it's a AoE heal from what that looks like it's showing there. Because this is how the grenade looks when you throw it. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the song. That's interesting. How far before we can evolve? I'm curious. Uh, goblin. We have to have a goblin level 4 to become a knight. Goblin level. Uh, is there none that are like ranged? Either way, I think we'll go with the song for Willow. I, I think I like that. Learn it. Oh, and then I could forget it if I wanted to. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And uh, did we get any equipment? Did I do that with uh, Pascal? So we have the Juniper already. Got a mint. That actually doesn't look like it's useful, but the Juniper, though, that does look like it's useful. So that gives us... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Put the Juniper down there. Increases max health of Tansy. Increases... Okay. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot, actually. All right, guys and gals, unfortunately, like I said, I'm stumbling around a little bit. I'm trying to find my way through the game, figure out how things work. Like I said, it has a very cool approach to it. It gives you some information, but not all of it, so you don't just immediately know what's going on. And I'm a big fan of that. Uh, I like how the combat's working so far. I'm getting used to it a bit more. And I love the fact that we have these little goblin boys. They look adorable. And that we can actually go and uh, change them out a little bit if we wanted to. You know, like a more specific with colors and things of that nature i like to see that there's equipment on us and i assume that's going to change as we change like what classes we are and all sorts of things like that either way folks i'm pretty excited to continue this hopefully you guys are excited as well if you guys want more information about the game where to get the game information on the developer the publisher or any of that wonderful fun stuff it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature just like it always is if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, guys and gals. Feel free to comment, too. Let me know your thoughts on this game. I'm very curious as to what you think of it so far from what you've seen. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I think I said subscribe. I, I meant subscribe to the channel. 
as well. And until the very next episode, folks, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.